Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about like making orders with interactive brokers with the IB and Sync API. Again, be very careful because uh, this can this will make real orders and please use a demo account, account at first. So I think the most important thing is like if you want to understand the you should understand the code of IB and Sync and uh, Trader Workstation. But IB and Sync, you can Google GitHub IB and Sync. You go inside here. Um, and you see with IB and Sync, you have this uh, order.py. And as you see, there's like a big order object and the order object has um, basically um, different important things. Number one, it has order type, which is the most important. So this is where you can specify if you want limit order, stop order, MOC order, which is what was asked in the comment section or whatever, you have action, you can do buy, sell, total quantity. This is the limit price. Uh, aux price is actually the stop price, as you'll see later. And there's also other important things, like there's a time in force if you want good till cancel. There's all these trailing stop loss, trailing percentages if you use that. Um, also, uh, what's important is you have this like thing called um, outside RTH, it means if it's outside regular trading hours or not. Um, that's also important. And I wanna say, so the big order object is general. There's many types of orders. Um, and you can uh, go here to see the t uh, different types of orders. And uh, there's many types of orders. There's like um, peg to stock, market on open, uh, um, is M -O -M -A market on open, MOO, there's market, M MKT, what was asked in the comments is market on close, MOC. There's many types of orders and you can write that in the order type. But for the famous orders, the most famous ones like limit order, uh, there's helper methods that um, uh, subclass the order class. So they only need like action by, total quantity, quantity, limit price, and then it just calls the order method with those variables. Same with market order, stop order, stop limit order. So for example, stop stop limit order has like a total quantity, limit price, action, stop price, whatever. And as you see, it'll have order type is stop limit, action equals action, total quantity, limit price, aux price equals stop price. So remember the the general order um, thing had had has like a, uh, it's called stop price, aux price. So let's show you examples of how this is done with the IB and Sync API. So let's first do a limit order example. So first you need your actual contract. So contract equals, let's, we always use Tesla. Symbol equals Tesla. Um, exchange equals smart. Currency equals USD. And um, um, let's qualify the contract contract so now we can uh, show you um let's just create the contract here uh this is the contract so now I, limit order example i can do limit order equal li equals um limit order action equals buy um limit price equals uh um let's do 250 um and let's do uh, total quantity equals uh, 50, 40. And now I want to show you something like um, if you just do limit order dot order, you, uh, oh, sorry, order ID, you get order ID zero by default. But um, to place the order, you do something like this. You, do, you, you, you get a trade object when you place the order. And the trade object has uh, order, order status, things like that as part of it. Let me show you in a second, but you can do IDB that place order, contract, limit order. And um, that and the trade object now has um, order, order status, things like that. Um, order status says like, what's the status of the order here? It's uh, pre-submitted, what's remaining, average fill price, um, all these other things. And order is the actual order itself. And it has things like order ID, which is very important. Later in other videos, I'll show you why it's important. But uh, for now, let's ignore it for a second. 
Um, so let's just show you an example. So like when you first place the order, it's not blocking. So if you do like trade that order status, that status, you'll see that it's going to be pending submit. So um, there are a variety of different order statuses. Um, and you can see the order status is here. There's like a API be uh, pending, pending submit. So at first it's pending submit. It means you sent it to Trader Workstation, but confirmation has not been received by the destination. So like you, this always happens at first. And then after the order eventually will go to like pre-submitted, submitted, and then it'll be filled or uh, canceled or whatever uh, based on later things. So if you look now, if I check again, this specific order, I see trade that order status is pre-submitted. I guess one of the reasons it's pre-submitted, uh, which means basically like uh, it, it's been accepted by IB system, but hasn't been elected. So maybe it's because it's uh, pre-market and um, the exchange is closed. But as you see, it went from pending submit to pre-submitted. And you can, you can look at the log. There's a log object, so you can look at logs. So it went from pending submit to pre-submitted, as you see. But let's say I were to do um, um, outside uh, regular trading hours equals true. So what does that mean? It means like um, I'm pre-market, so I, I'm allowing it to be outside regular trading hours. So again, the first thing is uh, pending submit, and now it's submitted, um, and now it's filled. So we also can see that in the log. It went from pending submit to submitted. I guess it skipped the pre-submitted. Um, and then I guess it had a submit with a um, filled message before, and then it, it, it made it filled. So like this is a trading log to help debug. But okay, let's say, uh, let's first show you how to like, let's say modifying the order. So modifying an order. So let's say I have the same order but now I'm going to have something like, um, I'm going to have uh, limit price is 240 because uh, Tesla is above 240 now. And so it won't, uh, it won't fill the order. So I, I do this, I do trade that. Again, I get this pending submit. Um, let's look at the order status now. It's now it's submitted, but let's say I want to change the price. So I have to modify the order object of the trade. As you see, that has an order ID, so that's that's the order ID associated with it. But let's say I'm going to change the limit price to 245, right? So now I can do, um, uh, um, I can place the order again. And, and But now instead of this limit order, I'll do trade that order because I've, tr I've changed the order object, the limit price to 245. I change it to tr uh, trade that order. And again, it's going to have a limit uh, submitted, but let's make it filled. Let's do filled. And now um, it, you'll see it, it became filled. Let me just look at the trade.log. You'll see eventually it became filled. But now what if I want to modify it and it's already filled? I'm going to get an error. Cannot modify a filled order. I'm guessing um, if you do this long enough, you're going to get a lot of these errors. Okay. So now this is um, how to modify an order. So now... Um, okay, so now let's show you um, uh, the question that was asked about um, uh, market on close order. Um, so wait, first, sorry, before that, let's, let's just do this limit order in a, in a slightly different way. So let me call it limit order without using limit order class. So this is with order, using order class direct. So I would have to have an order and I would have to have a um, order type, order type equals LMT. Remember the order types uh, we showed you here, the basic order types. Okay, so LMT, same thing as last time. This creates the limit order in this way. Just for the hell of it, we'll make an order that doesn't work and you see you get an error, okay. Anyways, that's the limit order. Um, okay, so um, so to do a market on close, we would do a similar thing. You would call it uh, MOC order. Order type equals uh, MOC uh, by 
uh, whatever, and now we could place the order, and we got it to work. This is how you do MOC order. Uh, you, you, you specify an order. Okay, so a few more things to look at. Um, there is like a few things. Uh, there is, um, first of all, this is non-blocking, so you gotta be very careful. If you really want your order to complete, um, you gotta like wait until it completes to complete it, but it's outside of sc the scope of this video. But just real quick, there are other methods like um, uh, me methods uh, to look at trades. So there's IB dot uh, trades. This gives you, oh sorry IB dot trades gives you like a list of old trades that were done, and so this is like uh, all these tra all these are trades. Um, there's IB dot um, open trades and trades. These are uh, the ones that are still open. So I guess I I do have some uh, open trades. Um, there's also IB dot um, um o open orders um what's the difference is this just gives you the order object um with the um it, it just gives you the order portion of it um i think also yeah this just gives you the order portion of it i i, I do want to try one quick thing is let's say um is this really the same as ib that uh, open trades except just the order version we can try that let's do a new order Let's do like another li limit order and let's make this the total quantities 50. So, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, now you're gonna see this in the open orders. You're gonna see the one with 50, but let's, uh, let's not do anything. Let's just say we just have the limit order. Um, um, when, uh, yeah, I, I guess, uh, I guess uh, this is literally the same as open trades except um it doesn't have the whole trade object um the, I, so maybe there's also like um yeah there's orders and stuff like that i maybe i'll show you another uh another so let me just write this open trade orders ib that that open trades open trades ib dot um orders IB that trades. So these are the and that's, these are non-blocking. There's also like uh, blocking versions like IB that request uh, open orders. This is blocking. So let me write this uh, non-blocking. Um, blocking. Okay, let's talk about it in a second. Um, so now uh, uh, you can cancel orders by doing IB that cancel. So order, and then you write the actual order. So let's actually do that for all open orders. Um, so for order in IB that or, or, or open orders, um, IB that cancel order. Order and now let's look at IB that open orders and you see we have nothing. So it basically we've uh, canceled all the open orders as you see here. Okay, so we've shown you how to cancel orders. Now um, I will do another video about like bracket orders and things like that um, really soon, and uh, thank you.